Well, you guys, today we're going to be taking a look at how to install Windows 11 in a virtual machine. Now, if you want to have a little look at Windows 11, but you don't want to install it on your main PC, then you can use a virtual machine. You can either use VirtualBox or VMware Player, whatever you want to use. I'll show you how to install it and how to get it all set up. Now, the official way of doing it right now is downloading a Windows 10 ISO. You're going to have to download the media creation tool from Microsoft website. And this will allow you to download the ISO from Microsoft. So let me just quickly show you here. So just open up the application, accept their terms and conditions. And then when it says upgrade this PC, click create installation media. Take the tick out of use this on recommended options for this PC. Click next. And then you'll see ISO file. Click this one and click next. And this will download the ISO file. Put it on your desktop. And that has the Windows 10 ISO file. Next, I'm going to be using VMware, but you can use uh, VirtualBox if you want. But I'm going to be using uh, VMware here. You can download this for free and give it a go. And uh, once we've got this downloaded and installed, we're going to go ahead and create our installation here. So let's go to File, New Virtual Machine. And this will open up the New Virtual Machine wizard. You can either click Typical here, Recommended, I'm going to do custom advanced here just so you can see go next you can leave this as is go next again so i'm going to leave the radio button in i will install the operating system later so click next once we've done this we can now click microsoft windows uh, windows 10 there is no windows 11 uh, as of yet so just leave it on windows 10 it's fine click next and now you can give your virtual machine a name. I'm just going to call this Windows 11 X64. Let's just call it that. You can call it Windows 11 Preview, whatever you want to do. And uh, once we've done that, we can now choose our location where we want to install our Windows 11 X64. I've got an, another hard drive here, so I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to create a new folder here called uh, Win 11 or something like this. Select that folder. Click OK, and that's where it's going to install. OK, that's where the operating system will be. Click Next. You can either choose BIOS or UEFI and Secure Boot. I'll leave it as UEFI. And uh, once we've done this, we can now click Next. Here you can name your processes and also the cores per processor. So I'm going to do two and two here. That's enough for what I need to make your decision according to what CPU you're using on your system. Go next. This is where we can choose how much memory we want to use. Um, I'm going to use eight gigabytes here, but you can use four minimum of four here, depending on how much uh, memory you've got on your system. So I'm going to be using eight. I've got 32 on this system. So eight's going to be plenty. So let's go eight and click next. Now I'm going to use the, NAT set in here, so leave the radio button where it is, go next, and leave it on recommended here, and recommended again, and now we can create our new virtual disk. Now you can see here, use an existing virtual disk, but I'll show you that a little bit later on. Store the virtual uh, disk as a single file. You can now give the maximum disk size here, depending on how much size you want your drive to be so I'm just going to leave it as 60 gigabytes but you can make it bigger if you wish and once we've done this we can now click next you've got um, customized hardware here if you want to make adjustments here you can do but I'll show you how to do that after the fact anyway so here we have our Windows 11 here you can now go to VM up the top here and go settings and this will open up our virtual uh, machine settings we can now go to uh, cd dvd and we're going to point to use iso image file and then click browse here so we're going to locate our windows 10 iso now yes you can get the windows 11 isos off the internet they're all over the place uh, i'm going to be using a windows 10 one because this is the official way of doing it until microsoft released the windows 11 iso so do it this way so once we've done this, we can start our virtual machine on our new setup here. Click enter on the keyboard, and this will then boot up the uh, Windows 10 ISO here. 
you don't have to go through the installation process of Windows 10 first because this is a virtual machine. So it's no big deal. We just have to install Windows 10 on here and I'll quickly show you how to do that. So you should see something looking like this. I'll zoom in so you can have a closer look here. And it's just basically installing Windows 10 on a virtual machine. So we can click install now. And once we've done this, it will start to populate the next window. I don't have a product key, so that's fine. So click on this one here. And this will move on to the next selection of operating system you want to use. I'm going to use Windows 10 Pro. You can use whatever version you want. I'm going to do Windows 10 Pro and click next. Accept their license agreement. And now we can click on custom install. And once we've done this, you should see unallocated space, 60 gigabytes, which is correct. Leave that as is and click next. Now I've speeded this process up, but this is going to go ahead and install our windows onto that virtual machine there. So restart now, and this will reboot our virtual machine. And you should see your logo coming up here. That's fine. And then just let windows load up here. It's going to get a few things ready. I've speeded this process up a little bit here, but I haven't skipped any sort of steps. And you should see just a moment, and then it will go ahead and finish off the installation for you. So let's uh, let this finish off here. There we go. So now we need to select our language here. I'm going to do United Kingdom and our keyboard layout, United Kingdom. You can choose whatever one you want. I'm going to skip a second keyboard layout here. And that's going to get a few more things ready for us. And you can see here just a moment. So this is where we get how would you like to set this up. So you can set yours up how you like get your offline account going and I'm going to go limited experience here and put in a name that you want to use a username for your account so I'm just going to put Brightech here go next I'm not going to use a password I'm going to go next again so next we're going to get this let Microsoft and apps use your location I'm going to say no you can say yes here find my device I'm going to say no send diagnostic data to Microsoft this is important you need to leave this as send requirement and optional diagnostic data. You have to have that on to do the Windows Insider program. Improve inking, no. I'm gonna do no to all this other stuff. And this will then prepare the installation. So let Cortana run. I don't wanna run that on the system. And it's gonna get a few bits ready here. It's gonna say, hi, we're gonna get a few things ready for you. And once that's done, we should be at the desktop once this loads up for our Windows 10. Now, this video was about Windows 11, but once you've got Windows 10 on here, unless you want to install Windows 11 directly from a ISO file that you've gotten off the internet, by all means do so. You can see we're still on our PC here and we're running this virtual machine inside our PC. And uh, once this is done, just let me quickly go through here and set the screen resolution uh, to 1920 by 1080 so I can go full screen for you. I'm just going to quickly uh, complete the setup on Edge and skip the syncing part. There we go. And right click on the desktop and we can now change our display settings to 1920 by 1080 or whatever screen resolution you're using on your monitor here. So let me just do this. I'm going to keep these changes and there we go. So we're all done. So now I can go full screen here. So let me go up to the top here and go full screen. And now what we're going to do here is we're going to join the Windows Insider program. So we're going to go to Start Settings, go full screen here so you can see. And we need to go to Update and Security. And you'll see on the bottom left here, Windows Insider program. So you can go to here. This will open up the Windows Insider program. And we're going to get started. So it's going to load up. This here to say choose your account to get started you need to link your account to it this will be an email address and a password for microsoft account so i've already got a microsoft account so i'm just going to quickly log into my microsoft account here and uh, that's now done you can choose this one here and once this is done you'll get choose an insider setting now it used to be the dev channel but you can now use the beta channel so I'm going to go ahead and choose the beta channel because it says that's recommended. That's going to be the more stable version of Windows 11. 
So let's go ahead and select the beta channel here. And uh, you can have a read of that information there. But once you've got this done, we can now click on uh, confirm and get this uh, done for us. So let's go confirm. And once we've locked this in, we should be pretty much good to go here. So accept their terms. So let's go confirm. And it says restart now. So we need to restart the system. And once we've restarted the system, I'll just quickly speed this process up. So we can get back to the desktop. So you should see VMware here, still on our virtual machine. Let Windows 10 load up here. And there we go. We're just logging back in. Okay, so once we've got this done, we can now go back to the start button here. And we're going to go down to the settings here. Settings, and then go full screen here. Go update and security. And if you look on the Windows Insider program, you should be on the beta channel. You can change it any time you like, but we're going to be staying on this one for this installation. So what we need to do next is go to Windows Update. Now, it's important that you have all the latest updates. So if you're using an older Windows 10 ISO, you might run into difficulties. So always use the latest version and download that. Now, you can download the Windows 11 ISO, like I said, from other sites on the Internet. But it's best to do this until Microsoft officially released the Windows 11 ISO. So I'm going to speed this process up, but it's going to go ahead and update Windows 10 fully. So it's ready for the Windows 11 um, Insider preview. So let's go ahead and let Windows configure Windows 10 and get it fully updated first. I'm going to do a bunch of updates and then clean up the system. And then basically, once it's done that, we can go back into our Windows updates and we should now see a Windows 11 uh, preview download there. So we'll just let this finish off and boot back to the desktop here. So just be patient and let it boot up. Now this is a long process. Once Microsoft do release the Windows 11 ISO, you can skip this part and just install Windows 11 directly by using the method I showed you anyway. So we're gonna go back to start settings, update and security, go back to the Windows update here. And you can see here, it's just going to do a Windows update here. One little last update. And once that's completed, we should now see Windows 11 Insider Preview is ready to come down. And that will start to download. And once that starts to download and install on the system, Windows 10 will then become Windows 11. The good thing about this is it's not going to mess up your main computer. And basically, you'll be able to delete this whenever you feel like it and still have your version of Windows 10 running on your main system until Windows 11 is fully officially released for an update if you want to do that or if your system is capable of running uh, Windows 11 because of the TPM. So let's take a look at this here now. It's starting to come down. I will speed this process up so we can see how it looks once it starts to go through the install and upgrade. Just let that finish off here. And once this is downloaded, it will start to say installing and 100% install. You will get a notification popping up on the bottom right hand corner here asking you to reboot your computer or restart your computer. Or it will say pick a time when you want to restart because this is a virtual machine. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to restart now. And once this restarts, the Windows 11 upgrade process will start on this Windows 10 system. So let's go ahead and let that restart and start the upgrade process. Now I'm going to speed this process up, but you shouldn't have to worry about this too much. But as you can see here, updates are underway and I'll speed this process up so you don't have to sit here and watch the whole process. It does take a fair bit of time to get this installed on the system. So you will need to be patient on this. And because it's on a virtual machine, doing it this way will take a fair bit of time. So just just be patient. You won't have to intervene or anything like that. It's going to go to this stage here. And then you should see, please wait. And then you'll get the login screen here. It's going to say hi. And then you're going to get getting a few things ready again. And then shortly after that, you should be at the desktop of Windows 11. So this may take a few minutes. It will tell you not to shut off your PC. So just let it do its thing. And then once it's finished, Updating, you should see Keep PC turned on and plugged in, and it'll say almost there, and you should then see the desktop for the first time. There we go.
you're at Windows 11. You've just installed Windows 11 on a virtual machine. Now, of course, like I've said, once the official release of the Windows 11 ISO comes from Microsoft, you'll be able to skip that Windows 10 and then upgrade through the Insider program. You can go straight away and install it uh, on the system. But this is the safest way to have a play around with Windows 11 without messing up your main system by using uh, either VirtualBox or VMware, which you can use. So anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. That is how to install Windows 11 in a virtual machine. Uh, big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, guys. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Let me know in the comments section below what you want to see, and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.